Okay, so let's see how to fix the bug splat error in Wondershare Filmora. So let's say I just open this uh, the, the file in Wondershare and so now let's uh, make it open and I'm working on my work and in the meanwhile if we see that the error will come so we are going to fix that error uh, in this video so let me work on my application uh, in the meanwhile we are uh, the filmora is working on the on on the background and let's wait if the error will come of the bug splat and then we will okay so now as you can see the bug splat error has shown so let me uh, click on this taunt sand and okay before that uh, let's see what are the error I am getting okay so I am getting all this error and you can see from this window that what errors are there and which file locations because I can see that it's due to some files okay so I just click the taunt sand and I just went to I am just going to the the folder where all these files are located and so the whenever the bug splat error will come uh, that error will save as a log file where you have installed the filmora software so i have installed that filmora uh, in my uh, in this drive and as you can see okay so this is the the log file okay so now from this log file i can uh, see uh, when the error has started to come up so the, the bug splat error as you can see over here uh, this file contains all the details of the error like which file it is giving the error or like what what are the the reasons so as you can see it is saying that okay this file like this um, mp3 file when it start loading it is giving me that error okay so now what I did I just I'm just going towards that file and let me delete this this mp3 because I don't don't need that it's because it is giving me error and it is not so important so I'm just deleting this file let me close that one and okay so let me delete that but as you can see there are so many uh, intervals like when this error started so it's very difficult for me to find like to find all this uh, all this uh, data and uh, all these uh, files which are giving me errors so it's 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 very time consuming so let me again restart film filmora and let's see what will happen if i just delete the one file will it work or not okay so we are waiting for that and okay so now let's open that and as you can see I am just opening the, the recent project which is unfinished and let's 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 take some time and make it open okay so yeah okay, so the project is open and again it shows me that bug splat error so what I what I figured it out uh, what I figured out that you just need to uh, go to this uh, 3d setting or the graphic art setting and provide the the graphic art setting towards this uh, this filmora software so select that filmora software and apply this setting for the filmora so i'm selecting the wonderful filmora and i have selected the the options that the graphic card will provide it best supporting system high performance system towards this software okay and then i have to save this so I'm just checking and let's save this, apply this settings towards the Wondershell Filmora. Again, this is only for the graphic card. Like I am just providing the NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA graphic card uh, access to this uh, Wondershell Filmora software. So after providing this, I just close this software, uh, the, the graphic software and let's open the Wondershell Filmora again. Okay, so I'm opening the recent project and let's click on yes to open that recent project let's wait for some time before it loads and as you can see the project has been loaded successfully that means uh, the main thing is that the graphic card is giving me problem like, uh, like the internal graphics is giving me problem so what I did I just give the permission to the graphic card that uh, yes you can take the take the all the 
process from that Firmula to you. So the graphic card will take the, all the processes from this uh, Wondershell Firmula and the internal memory or the internal graphic card will be kept aside. So you can try this like by just uh, providing the access to the your graphic card go to the if you have a different graphic card you can go to its setting and provide the the high performance option towards the Wondershell firmware also what, what I noticed that uh, if you can uh, remove the clutter like uh, so if you have different data which is already in the Wondershell firmware so just remove that and that also will work because firmware will take time to load the data or the music files or the images or the videos so remove that from the folders and that will also work and this thing also work that you just need to apply this setting towards the uh, graphic card by giving the access of providing high ex uh, high performance towards this software okay so thank you